it has been a long, hard, grueling two years since the last true, big-blown Sony PlayStation Showcase. And it was such an unbelievable event, especially from one of my favorite studios, Insomniac. We got a brand new teaser for a Wolverine game, but even more mind-blowing than that, we got the confirmation that they are actively working on a new Marvel Spider-Man Part 2. And even better than that, they dated it for 2023. But unfortunately, since that showcase, we've gotten no information at all, and we've just been waiting, and 2023 is, you know, you know we're like 30% done with the, the year, so what's going on? But fortunately, just this week, Soon. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that new information for new Spider-Man part deuce and some of my expectations for the game. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, Turbo Jesse here, talk about all things gaming, mostly PlayStation and Nintendo. Been covering a lot of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom recently, but have no fear when Marvel Spider-Man Part 2 comes out, I'm going to be covering that game a lot. Don't have that many subs, I'm really trying to reach that 3,000 sub milestone, getting dangerously close. So if you wouldn't mind hitting that sub a Rooney button, hitting that like button, I would really appreciate it. I also have a Discord, Patreon, all that other YouTube stuff down in the description below. But let's talk about these new news for Marvel Spider-Man Part 2. Alright. To make something perfectly clear, all the information and news I'm speaking about in this video, it's not rumors, it's not from Reddit, it's not from some weird third party page. This is from Insomniac Games itself, firsthand from Twitter. The first bit of information is very important and I'll show you right here. And Bane asks, is this game still slated for release this fall? Insomniac very, very briefly and quickly goes fall 2023. So that's anywhere between like, September, October-ish, right? Maybe creeps into November, but doubt it. So probably September, October. And then Ultar responds to that. Then why haven't we seen anything in two years? The game is supposedly coming out in a few months, yet you have done nothing to show us anything. That's pretty harsh, but it's really true. This game is supposed to come out in a few months, and Somniac hasn't shown us anything. But Somniac Studio very wittingly responds, because we're in the kitchen, it smells good in here but we just ask for a little bit more patience. That's a great response. That says, hey guys, we're working on this really, really, really hard. We have more information, we're gonna show it to you, and that's gonna be really soon. So this leads me to think a few different things. A, number one and most important, this game is not getting delayed. It is coming out in fall of 2023. Insomniac has stated earlier, it could have been late last year that this game is still on track. And two, they're gonna get ready to show us information on this game very shortly. I would not be surprised if this long-awaited Sony PlayStation Showcase is coming out in May. Sony has to show us what games are coming out this year, but also tease out maybe the next 18 months of their big release for maybe 2024 as well. Get people really, really excited. So I think this was a great answer from Insomniac, and you know, I'm just really freaking excited to see a little bit more about this game. I hate to compare the two, but the marketing strategy from Marvel's Spider-Man Part 2 is a little bit similar to Nintendo's Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, we're showing a quick teaser trailer, then nothing for so long, and that's exactly what the Zelda team did. We got that first trailer, and we have to wait two full years to see anything else. That's kind of what the Spider-Man team is doing right now. We got something in 2021, and now it's 2023, and nothing. We don't even know what this game is going to be about. We know we've seen Kraven, or we think we've heard Kraven might be a bad guy, and we've seen Venom. That is confirmed for sure. Maybe there's co-op, maybe there isn't, but I'm just really excited to see what's going on with this game. Like, how are they going to make it unique? Or, you know, we got the original Spider-Man, which is unbelievable. Two years later, we got Miles Morales, which wasn't quite a DLC pack, but it was kind of a reskin. And I'm not arguing because I thought Miles Morales was an unbelievable game. I actually love both those games. They're some of my favorite games on the PlayStation 4. But I think for a true sequel, 
we need more than just a different season and a Christmas decor. We need like an evolution in the gameplay. And that's, I've been really thinking about how could you possibly do that? Maybe adding a co-op system. I mean, what I'm really thinking about is maybe multiple Spider-Men. I know like Into the Spider-Verse is so popular now and the whole multiverse is really popular with Marvel. So maybe they play with that multiple New York cities from different uh, multiverses that you could swing around in. I'm just really excited to see kind of what they come up with. Some of my hopes and like fears at the same time is A, I hope that the story is just as good as the first one. B, I hope there's a lot more, you know, big boss battles. One of my biggest complaints with Marvel Spider-Man and Miles Morales, there wasn't enough maybe big boss variety and big boss set pieces. There were some unbelievable ones, but I was just hoping there'd be more. And then, you know, I'm really wondering what's going on with Venom. Is Venom going to be the big bad of this game? Is he going to be playable? Is he going to be, you know, that anti-hero, which he traditionally is, which is a bad guy, but then becomes a friend? Are you going to get the black suit? Come on, we need to get the black suit. I don't think that's in question here at all. But there's just so much to talk about this game, and I'm planning on making a lot more videos, kind of discussing it as we get information. But besides for this little information drop, saying they're in the kitchen working, and we'll hear something soon, be patient. It's been pretty, pretty, pretty quiet. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. But anyway, guys, I am super excited for this game. Like I said, I think we're going to get a big, bad Sony PlayStation Showcase uh, in the next month or so. Maybe maybe sooner than you think. Probably like in a month. Probably like, like around the 20th of May, I would assume. Right before the summer really kicks in. And at that point, we'll get a big, bad, you know teaser trailer like a three minute trailer really seeing what the game's all about and then from there there'll be more showcases and demos and over the summer we'll just like know everything about this game i don't think there's going to be huge secrets like a zelda game that they're going to hide till the very last second so once the marketing starts i think it's going to be a pretty flow a pretty nice stream of marketing and information for this game but what do you guys think are you super hyped for marvel spider-man part two do you think there's going to be a showcase anywhere in the next month or so or what do you think's going on? Is this game possibly going to be delayed? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Guys, I get back to every single one of my comments. It's probably my favorite part of making these videos is interacting with you guys. Again, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, giving me an old sub. Again, dangerously close to 3,000. Would love to hit that in the next two weeks or so before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Kind of a little goal of mine. But guys, thanks for watching this video. And as always, I'm Turbo Jesse, and I'll see you on the flip side.